Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Orbital Cellulitis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Cellulitis is a term that denotes bacterial skin infection. Orbital Cellulitis is an acute infection of the soft tissues of the orbit behind the orbital septum. It is different from Preceptal Cellulitis. Preceptal Cellulitis is an infection of the subcutaneous tissues anterior to the orbital septum. Remember, Orbital Cellulitis is infection posterior to the orbital septum. Now, what are the modes of infection seen in orbital cellulitis? Orbital cellulitis can be due to exogenous infection due to penetrating injury or surgery. It can be due to extension of infection from neighboring structures like paranasal sinuses, teeth, etc. It can also be due to endogenous infection in the form of metastatic infection from breast abscess, puerperal sepsis, etc. What are the causative organisms of orbital cellulitis? Orbital cellulitis can be caused due to Streptococcus pneumoniae or Staphylococcus aureus or Streptococcus pyogenes or Haemophilus influenzae. This is how a patient with orbital cellulitis presents to you. What are the symptoms of orbital cellulitis? Swelling, severe pain which is increased by movements of eyeball or pressure, vision loss or diplopia are the chief symptoms of orbital cellulitis. There can also be general symptoms like fever, nausea, vomiting and prostrations. Prostrations is exhaustion of body. What are the signs of orbital cellulitis? Swelling of lids, chemosis of conjunctiva, axial proptosis, restriction of ocular movements, and relative afferent pupillary defect, congestion of retinal vessels are the chief signs of orbital cellulitis. There can also be other signs of papillitis or papilledema. What are the complications of orbital cellulitis? If orbital cellulitis is not treated properly, it can lead to ocular complications like exposure keratopathy, optic neuritis, and central retinal artery occlusion. It can lead to orbital complications like subperiosteal abscess, which is collection of pus between the orbital bony wall and periosteum, or orbital abscess, which is collection of pus within the orbital soft tissue. It can also lead to temporal or parotid abscesses. It can lead to intracranial complications like cavernous sinus thrombosis, meningitis, and brain abscesses. It can also lead to general septicemia or pyemia. What are the investigations that you'll do in a case of orbital cellulitis? Bacterial culture from conjunctival swabs, complete hemogram, X ray of paranasal sinuses. Orbital USG, CT scan and MRI are the various investigations that you will do for a case of orbital cellulitis. How do you treat a case of orbital cellulitis? Intensive antibiotic therapy should be started for a patient with orbital cellulitis. Oxacillin plus amphicillin should be given for staphylococcal infections. This can be replaced with cefotaxim or ciprofloxacin or vancomycin. Chloramphenicol or clavulonic acid should be added to cover haemophilus influenzae. Metronidazole should be added to cover anaerobes. Analgesic and anti-inflammatory drugs can be given to relieve symptoms. Topical antibiotic eye ointment and nasal decongestant drops can be given. Surgical intervention includes immediate canthotomy or cantholysis, which is done to decompress compartment syndrome of orbit and incision and drainage of abscesses can be done. Thank you.